you're, you're really, I think, most known uh, these days as a pioneer in establishing existential psychology as an independent discipline in the, in the clinical area. And that's a discipline which, unlike most forms of clinical psychology that rely on a, a medical model or a behavioral model, relies more on a philosophical model. And, and uh, you draw heavily on the works, I think, of philosophers uh, such as Sartre, Heidegger, Kierkegaard, who, mm. who deal with basic notions such as anxiety in a different way than, than most medical clinicians do. Yes. Well, when I was in my in the uh, year, I think, 56 or 57, the publishers called me up and asked if I would edit a book on European existential psychotherapy. And I was delighted to hear there was such a book. I hadn't known a thing about the existential movement, but I knew that in this country I believed in it very firmly, because they are the ones who emphasize anxiety, ang uh, they emphasize uh, the individual courage, they emphasize guilt feeling, it has to be taken into consideration at least, and they see human beings as struggling, sometimes successful, sometimes not successful, and this was exactly the model that we needed for psychotherapy. Uh, the medical model had turned out to be a dead end, and I w uh, welcomed the chance to edit this book of, of uh, existential uh, <coughs> chapters from Europe. And it was, uh, it, it met my own needs in my own heart. It, would I be correct in, in assuming that when you speak of anxiety, you don't think of it as a symptom to be removed, but rather as a gateway for exploration into the, the meaning of life? Yes. Well, you got that exactly right. Now, I think anxiety is associated with creativity. When you're in a situation of anxiety, you can, of course, run away from it. And that's certainly not constructive. Or you can take a few pills to get you over it, or cocaine, or whatever else you may take. You could meditate. Uh, well, you could meditate. But I think none of those things, including meditation, which mm -hmm. I happen to believe in, but none of those paths uh, lead you to creative activity. Mm -hmm. What anxiety means is it's as though the world is knocking at your door, and you need to create. You need to make something, you need to do something. Mm -hmm. And I think anxiety thus is uh, for people who, are, uh, who have found their own heart and their own souls. Uh, for them it is a stimulus toward, toward creativity, toward courage. It's what makes us human beings. Mm -hmm. I suppose much of our anxiety comes from the basic human dilemma of being yeah, mortal, of yeah, ultimately yeah. having to confront our own demise. Yeah. Yeah. We are conscious of our own selves, our own tasks, uh, and also we know we're going to die. Man is the only creature, men, women, and children sometimes even, are the only creatures who can be aware of their death. Uh, and out of that comes normal anxiety. Mm -hmm. And when I let myself feel that, then I uh, apply myself to new ideas, I write books, I communicate with my fellows, uh, and uh, in other words, the creative interchange of human personality rests upon the fact that we know we're going to die. Uh, of that the animals and the grass and so on knows nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, but our knowledge of our death is what gives us a normal anxiety that says to us, make the most of these, of these years you are alive. And that's what I've tried to do. Mm -hmm.